What's happening? Sorry, can you repeat that one more time? Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, that's probably the uh, the hardest uh, the hardest punt to practice. Um, you know, you're backed up. You feel like the stands are kind of like right, you know, right on your back. Um, and, you know, you got a lot of field to work with. And it's one of those situations where, you know, you need a good punt. And, uh, and you just, you just got to go out there and execute. So, uh, so that's always fun to practice. There's always a, a lot of pressure in those situations. And um, Coach Tobe's great about that, you know, making practice, uh, trying to make practice harder than games. And, uh, and, and I feel like we did that today. We got some really good work in there today. Player of the week, I think it was back in November, you mentioned something about your uh, mental preparation. Mm -hmm. Has that now extended to the beginning of the season? Do you feel like um, that may propel you to a more complete season than maybe? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that, that's something I'm always aiming and, uh, you know, you know, working towards. Um, and, and, you know, I'm, I'm really ramping up, you know, like, I guess you could call it my, my mental practice um, and, and working on the mental side, like right now, um, you know, getting ready for preseason. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm just, yeah, I'm excited to get into preseason, knock the cobwebs off and, you know, get back into uh, get back into games. Yeah, so it's it's a lot of meditation. So um, early in my career as a punter, I like to be very aggressive um, and have a very aggressive mindset. And I, you know, I I think that worked for me very well when I was young. But you know, as I've like gotten a little bit older, I think it's best to uh, you know be in like a more relaxed mindset. Um, and because I feel like one of my tendencies is when I when I don't hit a great punt, it's when I overswing and I try and like hit hit too, uh, you know, like too strong of a punt. And, uh, you know, I sit very well around like my 75% uh, swing. And so, you know, that's something that uh, helps me with, you know, the mental side if I'm, you know, really like trying to like slow down my mind, relax. And then that helps me carry it over to games, you know, just be more relaxed on the field. Tommy, you talked about uh, the, the mental side, but what about the physical part of it? Were there things you worked on uh, during the off season to improve your game from that aspect of it? Yeah, definitely. There's something I'm working on right now too, just something with my leg swing. Um, just uh, just working on pulling it straight through, um, and uh, yeah, just helping helping my leg get to the ball a little bit quicker. And as you know, Kansas City, it's not easy with the uh, with the wind. It's one of the windiest places in the NFL. So um, you got to have a very short period of you know time between when you're releasing the ball and uh, between yeah releasing the ball and contact. So uh, so yeah, right now I'm just working on bringing my leg a little bit quicker through and uh, and hitting the ball just to try and uh, you know eliminate that that wind as much as possible. Even though it's the same punter, kicker, long snapper, there's a lot of new faces, new components from the special teams. Mm -hmm. Does that impact you at all? How is that to, to try to build that chemistry in the different units? Uh, yeah, I feel like there's always a bit of like a learning curve, you know, when you got like new guys coming in. But but we've got so we've got a lot of talent, and I'm really excited to watch these new guys work. Um, I was super excited to get Chris Lamonts back, um, and uh, you, you know you know James James and Chris have been you know great staples in special teams. But uh, but yeah, we got a lot of new guys and a lot of talent that I'm really excited to see, and uh, a lot of dogs on special teams. So uh, yeah, I just can't wait to get into preseason and watch these guys work. Is there any chemistry there? I mean, we always talk about long snapper to kicker to punter after catch chemistry. How much do you need to worry about your gunners and protectors and everybody? Um, I mean, I try not to like worry about them. Um, it just it's one of those things. I, I feel like it, during the week, you know, we practice like every everyone's everyone's a professional here. Everyone's going to do their job, um, and I have a lot of trust in our guys to do that. Um, so yeah, it's one of those things. I just try and I just try and you know do my part, and uh, and you know I know that you know my gunners and the rest of the punt team are they're going to work really hard and uh, and do uh, do theirs. Yeah. Are there some things when you see gunners and new guys coming in? Um, I mean, I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean, I'm not the one picking the rosters. I'm not the one in the uh, in the meeting rooms with the coaches. Uh, um, I mean, like I said, there's there's a lot of guys that are really talented. So I'm just excited to see those guys work. Um, and and that's going to be the biggest thing. So, uh, so yeah, I'm just yeah excited for preseason. Yeah. It's election day. I know you probably seen Harrison Butker in some ads. Mm -hmm. um, have, have you have y'all talked anything about that at all? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, every, I feel like everyone has great, you know, conversation and communication about stuff that's going on in politics. And, um, you know, everyone's entitled to their own, own, own opinion. I have my own opinions. Um, and, you know, I think it's great Harrison voiced his. Um, I think it's I think it's good to uh, yeah voice your own opinion and have your own opinion. So. Uh, I don't know. I think uh, I think I think everyone's been grinding out here. You know, the O line, D line, they look good. It's hot outside. They've been grinding. They're just they're built for tough. So I'm uh yeah I'm uh yeah I'm, I'm yeah happy to see those guys out there working. Is all that hair under the helmet 
make it super hot for you? Uh, yeah, it gets a little hot. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a little hot. Sometimes I try and like tie it up sometimes, but it, it doesn't work too well. It's just one of those things. It's like a wool blanket in the summer. It's just... Oh, uh, when I can. Yeah, when I can. I didn't have an opportunity to this past year, but uh, but Thomas was one of my big inspirations with uh, with my steps and punting and kind of growing out the long hair. So uh, so he's always been a, a huge inspiration for me. So I'd love to get to work with him every uh, every chance I get. Yeah. All right, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.